Welcome back, everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your Android applications are just not loading. Now, this can happen for a couple of different reasons, but a majority of the time what this means is that you download an app on your specific phone and it just doesn't load up. So let's just take Fruit Ninja for example. If we went ahead and opened up this app, you may seem sometimes that this application doesn't load and sometimes maybe it just gets stuck, maybe it crashes and different things like that, or maybe it even doesn't, you know, or maybe it doesn't even install all the way and it doesn't open up. Now in that specific case, the easiest way to fix these types of situations is to uninstall the app and reinstall the application. Now if you install this APK file from the internet, that's a little bit of a different process. You're just gonna have to re-download that APK file and quite possibly that APK file may not be functioning. So this specific case, let's use Paper.io 2. Let's say this game or this application, whatever, just doesn't load. It just gets stuck here forever or whatever the case is. It can be a ton of different situations. All you want to do is hold down on the application just like this. And you want to either click on the remove app. As you can see, I don't see the remove app option. So I'm going to go and click on app information. And from here, I'm going to be able to uninstall this app. So I'm going to go and click uninstall. Click OK right here, whatever. And then watch what happens. It's gonna close out, the application's not there. We already know how this goes. So now what we wanna do is we wanna go back into our Play Store and we want to type in the name of that application. So in this specific case, it was Paper.io. So let's just go and type in Paper.io just like this. And we wanna find that specific application. So for us, it was this one right here. And we're going to go ahead and click Install just like this. And now what's going to happen is the application is going to be reinstalled. Now, like I mentioned, if you install this application via an APK file online, you're going to have to either re-download that APK file or go to a different website and download it there. That's probably the best thing you can do in that specific situation. Now, once this is open, you can go and click that play button and you will try to see if the application is fixed. Now, if it goes through and everything works fine, then you're set. If it still doesn't work and it's still causing you issues, the next thing I would honestly recommend looking into is, as you can see the app crashed to me like that, the next thing I'd recommend doing is probably updating your specific Android phone. Sometimes if you're on a super outdated version of Android, you may not have the best experience. So going into your update panel, so what you can do most of the time is go into settings just like this. You wanna go into your little like system settings right here, click on advanced, click on system update, and you want to see if there's an update available for your phone. If there is, you want to update to it. And if there isn't, then you're just going to probably have to wait it out until an update comes out for that specific application. That way you can install that update and that will probably be fixed. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.